Dear students, welcome to the next video lecture of circuits and networks. I am Deepak Videv, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Bhakti Academy of Science and Technology. Let us start the networks theorem. These theorems are very useful for analyzing electrical circuit. It simplifies the procedure that we already studied like mesh analysis, node analysis. By using this theorem, we can analyze large networks. In the today's video, we will discuss about source transformation technique and also a theorem known as superposition theorem. So what is source transformation? It is a technique which is used to reduce a large network and then for analyzing the network as per our requirement. In source transformation, an ideal voltage source which is in series with a resistance can be converted into an ideal current source in parallel with the same resistance across the target terminals and vice versa. What does it mean? If in a network there is a voltage source and a series resistance, we can convert it into a current source parallel with the resistance and vice versa. That means if there is a current source and a parallel resistance, we can convert it in, into a voltage source in series with a resistance as in the figure. So suppose there is a voltage source having value 10 volt connected in series with a 5 ohm resistance. 10 volt voltage source and 5 ohm resistance. We can convert that network that two terminal network into an another two terminal network having a parallel current source and resistance the value of the current source will be equal to the voltage source divided by resistance v by r in this case the 10 volt volt 10 volt is the voltage source value and the resistance is 5 volt so 10 by 5 that is 2 ampere and the resistance value, parallel resistance value is same as that of the series resistance. Similarly, current source in parallel resistance. Suppose the current source has a value 2 ampere and the resistance is of 5 ampere, 5 ohm. It can be converted into a voltage source having value I into R that is 2 into 5 that is 10 volt in series with 5 ohm resistance. That is the source transformation technique. And this technique can be used to reduce large, large networks. So let us uh, do a problem where source transformation is used. In this circuit, you have to find the current flowing through the 5 ohm resistance. This circuit can be used, can be solved by using mesh analysis, actually the super mesh technique or by using node analysis technique. But here we are going to use the source transformation method here we have to find the current through 5 ohm resistance so that resistance should not be modified or it should not be converted into another form but here in this circuit there is a voltage source in series with resistance here there is a current source parallel with the resistance we should not convert that into a voltage source in series with the resistance because since we we need to find the current flowing through 5 ohm resistance so here we can convert these two these 5 volt see it is 5 volt voltage source series with the resistance into a current source parallel with resistance we can convert in that way so what will be the value of that current source i is equal to v by r that is the value of current source will be is equal to 5 volt divided by the resistance 10 ohm here the resistance is 10 ohm 5 by 10 will be the value of the current source in parallel with the resistance 10 ohm so the circuit the 5 volt series with 10 ohm can be converted converted into a current source parallel with the resistance this in the previous side there is a voltage source in series with the resistance it it can be converted into a current source parallel with resistance the value of the current source will be 
the value of voltage source divided by the resistance that is 5 by 10.5 ampere and parallel with 10 ohm resistance. Now there are two current sources that are meeting that are meeting that are entering into the common node. So here there is a 0.5 ampere is coming to this node and there is a 10 ampere coming to the this node. So these two effects can be combined or instead of drawing this current source here you can draw it here also both are same that is shown here 10 ohm and 0.5 ohm are in parallel their combined effect will be what will be their combined effect will here the current will be 10.5 ampere so this circuit can again be reduced as a single current source that having value 10.5 ampere now you have to find the current through 5 ohm resistance so here 10.5 ampere current is coming to this node this node and it is dividing here and passing through two parallel resistors in this case we can use the current division rule to find the current through the 5 ohm resistance so what is current division rule to find the current through a branch of a parallel resistance you have to multiply the total current here the total current is 10.5 ampere so total current into resistance of other branch here 10.5 ampere is coming coming and you have to find the current through 5 ohm resistance so other branch is 10 ohm so total current 10.5 total current 10.5 into resistance of other branch by total resistance it is the current division rule so 10.5 into 10 divided by total resistance 10 plus 5 will be the current through the 5 ohm resistance so here we used source transformation transformation now let us study about superposition theorem what is it? it this theorem is applicable in the circuits which contains more than two sources and its definition is in a linear network with several independent sources the response in a particular branch when all the sources are acting simultaneously is equal to the algebraic sum of individual responses calculated by taking one independent source at a time. That is the definition of superposition theorem. You should study it. I will explain what does it mean by using an example. And when finding the individual response, all the ideal voltage sources are eliminated from the network. By shorting the sources and all ideal current sources are eliminated from the network by opening the sources and do not disturb the dependent sources present in the network. So what is the definition means in a linear network? Linear means the relation between voltage and current should be linear. It should include only linear elements that is the resistors, inductors or capacitors. So in a linear network with several independent sources, several there are several sources, they should be there and they are independent sources. The response in a particular branch when all the sources are acting simultaneously is equal to the algebraic sum of individual responses calculated by taking one independent source at a time. So suppose you, you want to find the current through a particular branch that current or the voltage across that branch in this case current or voltage are the responses he using superposition theorem you can find that response by taking only one source at a particular time so in a circuit for having more than two sources you will take only one source at a particular time and you will find the current in that particular resistance and then you have to consider another source and then another source and you have to find the current in that branch and the total 
the combined effect will be the sum of algebraic sum of all those currents and when taking one source at a time other sources should be eliminated from the network if they are voltage sources you have to short that voltage source and if they are current source you have to open that current source if and only if the voltage source and current sources are ideal sources if they are not ideal you have to replace that source with their internal resistance if there is internal in most problems uh, the sources will be ideal sources so let us try to solve this problem it is already discussed and this problem by using this source transformation technique here we have to find the current through 5 ohm resistance and in this circuit there are two sources one is voltage source and another one is current source these two are ideal or independent source what means ideal ideal means there does not have any resistance if they are non ideal the resistance value will be given so these two sources are ideal sources and they are also independent source independent means their value does not change depending upon the circuit condition if they are dependent their value changes depending upon the current or voltage in another part of the circuit so these two are ideal independent voltage source voltage source and current source and here we have to find the current through 5 ohm resistance in superposition theorem at a particular time we will consider only one source and on that time other sources will be eliminated if it is a current source it should be open if it is a voltage source it should be shorter so first voltage source alone is considered so in this case we have to eliminate the current source so current source should be opened current source is open circuited so circuit becomes much simpler consisting of only one mesh and you have to find the current in the 5 ohm resistance so here the circuit if if this side of uh, side is open which means that two wires are kept in open air and does it does not contain any current here there is no current so you can eliminate this portion okay so the circuit becomes as uh, becomes like this and the current will be i1 will be equal to total voltage is 5 volt and the total resistance is 15 ohm 5 by 15 ohm will be the current value so we find the current through the required branch by considering only the voltage source next we have to consider only the current source so here the current source is considered and we have to eliminate the voltage source eliminating voltage source means it should be short circuited if the voltage source is ideal so voltage source is here shorter then the circuit becomes like this and you have to find the current through the 5 ohm resistance that is denoted as i2 in the previous case it is denoted by i1 and here it is denoted as i2 so you have to find i2 here the 5 ohm and 10 ohm are now becomes parallel so the 10 ohm current is coming here and it is dividing here so you can use current division rule to find the value of i2 okay then i2 will be equal to total current is 10 10 into resistance of other branch here you have to find the current through 5 ohm resistance so other branch resistance is 10 so total current 10 into resistance of other branch is 10 by total resistance 15 thus you can find i2 okay so 
first we consider only the voltage source and then we consider only the current source now let us find the combined response so the total current through the 5 ohm resistance will be the sum of i1 and i2 that is the essence of superposition theory okay now i think that you will un you understood this theorem so if there are more than two volt more more than one sources you can use this theorem to find the response at a particular branch in this video we discussed two concepts first one is the source transformation technique where a network can be reduced by transforming the networks from one form to another it is used for network reduction and the second secondly we discussed about superposition theorem it is applicable if a network consists of more than two sources two or more sources okay thank you